Just want to start with your assessment, please, Robert. Uh, yeah, I like the, the opening passage of the play where it was going end to end a lot. Uh, we talked about rolling our sleeves up and being prepared to, to go as long as it, it took. And I think it was maybe 12, 13 minutes there until we, we got a crack. Um, good hard first half, I thought. Good battle. Really liked how we started the second half. Uh, really direct. And that, that kind of opened up some opportunities on the back of it. Pleasing, uh, yeah, pleasing team performance. How happy were you with that purple patch of five tries without reply? Um... Yeah, I was, I was happy. I was happy-ish. Um, yeah, I thought there's still plenty of us, plenty, plenty to work on there in, in some game management situations there, I thought. But uh, yeah, when, when we play together and, and we've got a level of patience with it, you know, we're, we're hard to defend against. What was the difference in the belt in the second half? Uh, I, I think we actually played pretty hard and tough in that first half and, and maybe, you know, we were getting some of the rewards in the second half. Um, I didn't think there was anything particular other than we're probably a little bit more direct. We didn't we didn't play around the back or didn't move the ball to our edges as much until it was the the play to to try and score. Was it more impressive the victory given you were without Cruz and without Blake? We were playing against a quality team that are in good form, and you know it's always about who is playing. And I thought the the guys that stepped in there, yeah. Um, I think they're both maybe 20, 21, Jared, and um, you know, Jared's an, a learning dummy half, and he, he tackled fantastic, and he gave some good service, passed for prize try, um, but doing 50 minutes as a rookie um, like that, and Corey playing probably slightly out of position. He's been practicing there a little bit, uh, but he's, you know, he's a nine by trade as well, so he did a great job you know, filling in for those, those more experienced guys. Where do you think this leaves the, the playoff picture? I don't know um, what the playoff picture looks like other than uh, another two points are on next week and um, that'll get us closer to the to the people that are ahead of us. You were wearing Rob's shirt, we saw him on the big screen, what did it mean to you to put a smile on his face today? Uh, I think it meant a lot to the to the whole club and we, we spoke about it uh, a couple of times during the week without trying to make it um, too emotional, sometimes you can build it up too much but we had the pleasure of of the family coming to, to speak to the players before the game and these beautiful little girls uh, talking about the making of the, the jersey and the design um, was was very special for, for all of us and um, you know I'd like to hope that we've we've done the family proud today. Thanks Robert. Oh, Zach Road came off and his leg was heavily strapped. Yeah he's, he's got a decent uh, decent cork uh, in his leg, and he, he just thought it, it got to the point. He, he did it quite early in the game, and he was, he was tough to to keep it going. Uh, he got to a point there not too long after half time where he, he felt like he was going to end up being a bit of a, a passenger and maybe not being able to do his job. So um, the, the medical guys made that call then not to risk any further injury. Nothing to, to worry about then? It won't be anything too too long term, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's, it, it turns around okay. Those, those ones are always hard to tell right now. He's in a fair bit of pain right now. Uh, in my gut, Thursday morning early, but he, he, it wasn't until he got out on the field and uh, got going uh, Thursday, late, late Thursday morning in training. Uh, he wasn't, yeah, he just wasn't right. You obviously have um, Jackson Field in the squad who is a half back trade. What was the decision behind playing Corey Johnson instead of him? Corey's been playing there a little bit uh, at Bradford. In, in the championship, which is obviously a very you know tough, hard, physical game. Um, he's a bit bit older, a bit more mature than than Jack. Uh, Jack has done a good job, and he's training well. Um, Jack's also been getting hit very hard often after he passes the ball in other grades he's playing in. So um, he's been getting knocked out, knocked about a bit, and he's you know he's an 18 year old kid. So um, I'm conscious of you know taking care of him there a little bit. Um, He's, he's fine, it's not him. Uh, he's, he's as tough as any 18-year-old kid getting around. Uh, but I thought it was a good opportunity to get Corey in. He hasn't played much uh, in Super League, and I, I believe he's a long-term Super League player. With, with the other sort of injury concerns, obviously, Zach, does that um, make recruitment more of a pressing issue in the coming weeks? Uh, recruitment is always a pressing issue, and retention. Uh, that's a day-to-day multiple conversations every day, even when there's nothing much going on, you're always having those conversations. So um, the outcomes of those won't be discussed until 
there's an outcome. Uh, I only saw it live, uh, but I, I, you know, I thought it probably hit his shoulder. But you know, whether it ends up high, I'm not sure. How do you think Aiden played tonight, bro? Well, he's a good player. Um, I liked how he took the line on, broke some tackles, and you know, he got rewarded with a try. But he he had some other really important carries. I thought where he he picked the right time to to get between players. Uh, he's kicking. You know, he put it on his. He put it all on his own shoulders to get the kicking game done today. He was protecting his his young spine, um, which you know is admirable to him. He he uh, he kicked us well. Yeah, he performed well uh, today. Particularly second half, came up with um, a few real real critical plays for us to to get some points on the board. But yeah, he's he's played well. Rowan, just on just on the the, the club and Robin F and me, a lot of what, what happened obviously happened before you came to the club as well, but it's obviously not taking you long to realise just how much Rob needs the club and, and the link and everything and stuff like that, has it? No, and the the story has been well well shared through the NRL and the rugby league circles in Australia as well. So I'd, I'd say, you know, pretty much everyone is is understanding of the you know the situation and aware of how many people it impacts and um, to see yeah to see such a great player um, of our time you know struggling is is tough for everyone to to receive that. Um, yeah, I listened to I listened to um, his book on audio my first couple of weeks while I was here, just driving to work and stuff. And it was great to get a picture of what that era of the team sort of sounded like from a camaraderie and a spirit point of view. And it sounded like Rob was the one driving a lot of that stuff. So um, it's it's nice to be a small part of you know the club celebrating him today. And you said the family spoke to you, something spoke to play you and the played in the build. Was it was it about what? How they sort of came about the design for the kit for today, and I think was that what it's about? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's been spoken about over the the last couple of years. the The purpose of today was really just trying to find a way for the playing group um, to share the day um, with with the family. Um, the club take such good care and and are always helpful, and got him. You know, got the good seats and taking care like that, that sort of stuff. But we wanted to, as a coaching staff and a playing group, to to share the day. And we thought the the story, of the jersey, was a a, a good uh, and appropriate way to go today. Um, the girls delivered that message perfect. How important was it to back up with a win this week and the last week? Because you didn't do that after the Warrington performance. Always find that one. I'm trying to. I find that one a hard one because I'm always talking about, you know, trying to prepare well today and taking one day and one game at a time. So I actually spoke to the players on Monday about we don't have to back it up. We just have to prepare well and play well against Gas. Um, if you want to take that as you've got to play, back it up. Um, but the message I'm trying to really push is just to be present with the day ahead and uh, the next game ahead. It, in the end, it doesn't matter if you won last week or not. You you've got to play well again the next week. So that's yeah, that's my take on that. What about Sam Walters' role? He sort of enjoyed himself as well in the pack. Players have dropped. Is he someone that's keen to give a bit of a run to allow him to show what he can do? Yeah, I've been keen to give Sam opportunities since I've been here, and uh, he's he's taken those. And I thought he stepped forward. He's getting those back-to-back -back weeks in Super League for the first time in a long time, I would say. So. Uh, he's starting to get a little bit of momentum there and um, through necessity as well. We, we didn't have um, another forward to select from this week. So he's taking the opportunities that he's getting and, and hopefully that makes our, our squad uh, deeper when, when the other guys are back and available.